you are not alone. For a really long time, I tried to deal with every challenge in my life by myself. I don't know whether if it was an ego thing, it was me thinking that I knew better than everyone else, or I would figure it all out because I always had up until the point that you know things really started going wrong, but I didn't want help from anyone. Now, almost all of my videos are about me telling you my gambling addiction story. What happened to me, how I lost a bunch of money, how I lost time and lost friends. But today, I want to talk to everyone that could be watching this video, whether you're struggling with gambling or you're struggling with something. Because the truth is, we're all dealing with something. Maybe it's not an addiction. Maybe it's just a lack of confidence. Maybe it's not a mental health issue. Maybe it's you're unhappy with your life. You're unhappy with the choices you've made. We're all going through something. And that in itself sounds pretty terrible, but actually has some positives in it as well. And those positives are that no matter who you talk to, on some level, you have something to relate to them about. Because nobody out there has a perfect life, but we've grown up in a world where we see perfection or we see what appears to be perfection all the time. We're constantly comparing ourselves to others. We're thinking about ways we can improve ourselves to be like someone that we see online who very well might be thinking about how they can do the same to be more like us. So we're always trying to keep up with someone that's trying to keep up with us, that's trying to keep up with someone else. And we're really just getting caught in our own heads. We're thinking, what is the decision that I can make right now to be more accepted, to be more loved, to feel better, to achieve more? And we're not thinking about what we actually have. I've struggled a ton, ton with gratitude and being happy with where I'm at. And that led really strongly into my gambling addiction. And it's the reason why I was always chasing after a big win, so that I could flex it for others, so that I could appear like I was knowledgeable about what I was doing, that I could impress people and be that perfect person or, you know, strive to be that ideal self. When in reality, all I was doing was getting further away from enjoying my life. I was making my life a competition against myself and only thinking about myself. So I was isolating. And in my particular case, because not a lot of people talk about gambling addiction, I thought I was the only gambling addict in the world. And a lot of people might feel that way about whatever you're dealing with. We think that our situation's highly unique. We think we're the only ones that could possibly understand the thoughts that we have, the messed up reality that we've created for ourselves. No one else could possibly understand that. But the truth is, <laughs> no matter what it is that we're going through, someone out there has likely experienced something similar. And most people out there can relate to you on some level, as I mentioned before. And so my point in making this video and in telling you, without editing, without any fluff, without any dopamine, I just want you to know you're not alone. Because when we convince ourselves that we're alone, we shy away from any help that could be there to make our lives easier. One of my favorite quotes is that we're most qualified to help the person that we used to be. Ed Milet said it on a podcast with Jay Shetty. I don't know if he's the original author of the quote, but I love it. Because we have this idea that we have to be a master or an expert to help someone or teach someone. Which causes more loneliness, causes less people to get help because you're very much qualified to help the person that you were just last year because you have all this new experience to share. And if we had a society that was a little bit more welcoming of that share and people wanted to seek out help more often, there wasn't stigma associated with seeking mental health help, we'd see a lot more people getting better. When we tell ourselves that we're the only ones that could possibly understand we immediately shut off an entire category of people that could have saved or changed our lives. 
a lot of times when I talk about gambling addiction, people will look at me and they'll say I'm young and I have nothing to prove, or rather not nothing to prove, nothing to give them because I'm so young and I clearly didn't experience enough pain. And it just is another reason to isolate, right? Like I would be scared that me sharing my opinions would make someone think that I didn't know what I was talking about, think I was less than because of my age, you know? There's lots of different reasons why people do isolate. And I hate it. I hate that. So I put up with negative comments that come my way because there's very much people out there that could use my experience to help steer theirs away from, you know, catastrophe, honestly. But if we're too scared to help someone else, we're too scared to seek help ourselves, we're all just going about life hoping that we'll figure it out. And we really take away a lot of the possibility in our lives, the possibility to get better faster by listening to what someone else did, what someone else went through, and hearing how that can impact your life if you implement the steps that they used. We need more open dialogue, and we need to know that we're not alone. Because once we know that, once we have a firm understanding that we are not the only people on earth going through this set of problems that we are experiencing, then we can begin to find a solution. So many people, myself included for a really long time, don't set goals, don't have intention with our actions. I figured that with my gambling, I'd figure it all out, right? I'd win big at some point, maybe I'd be a professional, and then life would be good. I didn't know what amount that would be. I didn't know what, would that, what that would even look like. But it was an ideal that I held. It was something that I thought would happen. So I just kept going and going and going, always wanting more, moving the goalpost as to when I would become satisfied, when I would achieve my ideal self. And I never achieved it because it wasn't, I didn't have a goal. I didn't know where I was going. And so if you just stop and you think, where do I want to go? And you recognize that someone out there might be able to help you, then you can begin to seek that help out and move towards that goal. Say your goal is that you want to, I don't know, become a scientist. Well, if you think that you are alone, you might go out and start you know, hammering rocks and seeing what's inside of them and then trying to come up with a new invention based on that. Where in reality, you know, this is a terrible metaphor as I'm talking about it more, but in reality you could go to school and you could listen to what people have done for thousands of years and build on their experience to create something new. Using the experience of others is so important and it's what we miss out on if we think that we're the only people on earth that can understand what's going on in our own lives. Of course, no one can ever fully understand someone else, right? But that's where empathy comes in, and that's where shared experience can make a huge impact. If you think that it's you versus the world, you're going to get the results of one going up against seven billion. But if you change that mindset and recognize that there's a lot of value out there to be sought out, then you begin the process of change. You begin the process of educating yourself, of learning more about yourself, what you're going through, and how someone else who went through the same thing got better. When you realize you're not alone, you realize you have a chance. So if you've been struggling, if you've been isolating, I challenge you right now to take one step out of the comfort zone. Try to talk to one person, explain what you're going through, and they will have something in their life, in their life, in their life, that you'll be able to relate to, and they'll be able to relate to you. And then something beautiful can happen from that. Change can begin to be made. Goals can begin to be set. Life can begin to get better. You have to remember you are not alone. Now, I mentioned a couple times throughout this video that I'm in recovery from a gambling addiction. And even if you've never made a bet in your entire life, I want you to watch this video where I explain what I went through and try to find something that you can relate to, even if you've never made that bet. Because no matter what you're going through, we're all going through something. Remember that you're not alone, and remember everything can get better. It'll all happen one day at a time.